Hi, welcome, my name is Lisa, and you are watching One Lisa Show. My companion is Miss Money Penny. I call her Penny for short, and she's watching me. We were kind of relaxing here watching uh, Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door. She has her live stream every Sunday, and I realized I did not do a Friday Sews video because I was working that day, and I was pretty busy, so I decided this would be a good opportunity to just come on and show you the things I am thinking of making because I had a bug up my butt this weekend. I had two fabrics in my stash that I decided I wanted to use. I feel they're very summery and I've been on a gingham trend and I have some gingham and I can't wait to show you. I'm wearing today an older make of mine. I've had this for a couple of years. It is the Simplicity 9137 and I believe I did a video on this dress before. I'm wearing the UB, which is a simple A-line dress. It has a mock button placket. So this is just sewed with buttons. And basically there's two views. You can do what the model is wearing, which is kind of like a boat neck sleeveless, or you could do a faux wrap style. And I chose the faux wrap style, which I actually do regret. I don't remember what size I made. I'm sure I, it's written in here because I did trace this pattern. But it's not my favorite make. It does have a very long tie belt that I love. So I will show you my tie belt. These are my buttons. And again, it's sewn. They're decorative only. But I have to wear a safety pin to keep this wrap front bodice closed and it is a little big on me I did not do an invisible zip I did a full-on visible zip but this was one of the first zips I ever installed the fit is just okay for me and I love the fabric could I go back in and make it smaller I probably could I feel it's too loose in the bodice but the rest of it fits fine I'm not a fan of the zip. I don't use the zip. I would, if I made this again, I'd probably have to size down and then I would need the zip. I don't know why I keep this pattern because although I like how it looks on me, I don't like how I, it feels wearing it. I feel self-conscious. It's not my favorite dress, but I am very impressed with my sew of the dress. Like I think I sewed it very well and I used bias tape on the inside, so it's very professional on the inside. It's just a really good sew. All of my gingham was lined up perfect. I'm very impressed with that I made it. I just don't particularly care for how I feel in it. It just feels a little loose. I shopped for my stash this weekend, and they just came out of the dryer because I wanted to pre-wash them because I couldn't, I knew I didn't pre-wash one of the fabrics. They still had their tag from Minerva. And the other fabric I couldn't tell, and usually you can because it is a, it is a woven cotton. And you can kind of tell if you get a little bit of a fray, uh, if it's been pre-washed or not, but I just couldn't. And I thought, well, if I'm washing one, I might as well wash the others. Both of these have been in my stash for quite some time. This is a nice um, one inch, check gingham it's a navy blue this is from minerva i have two and a half meters of it so i think it's plenty to make a dress and it's gorgeous and i feel like this is the perfect the minerva gingham is easy to work with and it feels really nice especially in hot weather i have been wearing a pair of shorts i made out of the scraps of this fabric. Same also Minerva gingham. And I will tell you, I've been living in those shorts for the past few days. They're so comfortable. They lay nice. They never need to be pressed. I'm just a, I'm a huge fan of the Minerva gingham. <laughs> so I have a nice collection of gingham in my stash and I thought I'd take this one out. It's the navy blue. And I bought a pattern a couple of weeks ago. 
that I've been dying to get into. I don't know if a one inch check gingham is the best for this dress, but I will tell you, this is a very affordable fabric. It's consistently able to, you can buy it. And I think this is what helps me decide if I'm gonna use it to do a trial run of something I've never made before, but I'm very eager to, because a lot of my precious fabrics, the ones that I get from Beyond the Pink Door or sometimes even Minerva, or there are some that I get at Joann's where I'm smitten with the print. I don't want to cut into them until I know that that pattern has been a tried and true TNT tested pattern because I don't want to never be able to get that fabric again. And a lot of fabrics that I buy, I buy strictly because I love the pattern. <laughs> of the fabric. I love the print. I love the color and their impulse buys, but then it's very hard to go and do the actual sewing and use it up because if it doesn't turn out perfect, I'm going to be disappointed and feel like I've wasted that precious fabric. So I purchased a couple weeks ago, New Look 6602 from Hobby Lobby. And I bought this because I wanted to make this BU. Simple A-line, similar to a 60s style dress. You know, I don't think it requires much of nothing, which is awesome. It's suggested fabrics are cotton, cotton blends, silk, linen, suede silks, linen, linen blends, very simple and straightforward. It just has that 60s style. I do like the patch pockets. I I do. I do like the patch pockets. I don't know if I'll use it in this with this gingham, but I wanted to make this out of this. I don't know. You tell me, am I making a mistake? I think it could look cute. I think it could look cute if you think this is a mistake. I still have to trace this pattern. I was going to do it last week and I got too busy with work. I was gonna trace this pattern. I haven't traced it yet, but I still have to do that. So I have time. So if you're watching this video and you think this should be turned into something else, I think you need to tell me in the comments below. <laughs> and I can always get more of this fabric. This is, a, this is an easy to get fabric. So that's why I'm not scared to dive into that. My next fabric that I decided it's time to use is a simple quilter showcase from Joann's. This may not be available anymore because I bought it on clearance, but I bought a lot of it. I have lots of this fabric. And when I say have lots, it just came out of the dryer. So it has not been pressed. But look at how much of this I have. I must have five yards of this, maybe more. There's plenty to go around and that's what I love. It's one of the cheaper quilting cottons that Joann's carries, but it was on clearance and I think I paid maybe $2 a yard for it. So I bought the entire remainder of that bolt. And it is a pretty print. It's just a pretty turquoise background with some hot pink floral ditzy print in. I just like it. When I saw it, I thought this is perfect for making things and trying out patterns, especially a summer dress. So knowing, I have, look, I have so much of it. I have so much of it. There was a pattern I wanted to make last summer and I never got around to it and I've come across it again. It is a sleeveless sundress. It's a classic sundress. It's McCall's 8193. And what I love about this is well, it has butt enclosures for the straps, but the straps aren't skinny. They're a, they're a decent size strap. I wanna make those tie at the top. That's my modification, but I love that it's a tiered skirt with gathers. And it is butt enclosures, not a zip. I think that's key. I like that. I'm gonna show you the line drawings in the back. I don't know what view I will make. I'm only 5'2", so I tend to make the shorter versions of any of these dresses or skirts because I, I'm short. I See, I'm looking at it. It does have bust starts. So I feel like there's gonna be some good fitting options for me. And I think this would be adorable as a sundress, just like that pattern. 
And I think there's plenty to go around so I could still make something else with that fabric. Those are the things I'm looking forward to. The only one is I really want to make this dress so bad. I want to make this dress so bad. You tell me, yes or no. In other news, I've made a couple of things this past week, which I was super proud of. I, I, I made my first swimsuit. I don't have a picture, so I don't want to really talk about it. I want to get a picture of me in it, which hopefully I'll get this week. And then I had a couple of fails as well. I made one of my tried and trues, which was a deer and doe plantain tea. I had some white, solid white, optic white, whatever you want to call it, knit fabric. Very nice. And I don't have a solid white t-shirt. So I thought this was a perfect opportunity. I got that knit fabric to make a t-shirt. So I made the deer and doe plantain tea and I had a couple of mess ups and they're things that I, I mean, I could have undone them, but I didn't. For instance, the seam on the ribbing around the neckline right in the front, not the back, not the center back, not the side seams, right in the front, in the middle. I usually do them in the back. <laughs> I'm still gonna wear that shirt because I don't think it's that noticeable. I think I notice it, I don't think other people will notice it. So I'm looking forward to wearing that tomorrow. I'll get a couple of pictures because I, I'm, even when things don't turn out perfect, I still wear them. And the scraps from that, I made some knickers, perfect. I actually had a mistake on, one, on a pair of knickers. I put the waistband in reverse. It's still again, it's okay, it's cool. That's just how it was going for me in sewing this past week, so we went on with it. Thank you to everybody with your comments and suggestions on what to use for the ring for my swimsuit if you haven't seen the last Friday So's video, I talked about that. I did make that swimsuit and I did get rings that I actually found on Amazon. I had gone and looked at a couple of shops, didn't see exactly what I liked. And I think the winner would have been the curtain. I needed a two inch ring for a swimsuit. And some people, including Adam So's, said get a curtain ring for like a shower curtain. And I thought that's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. It's inexpensive. They come in all different colors, even clear. It would work. And then we found some, um, some stainless steel ones on Amazon. And I thought I'd try those, give it a whirl and they perfect and I have plenty. So I'll be making more swimsuits. I will show you that after, hopefully the next video. Uh, I wanna give it a chance, a trial run in the pool first to make sure <laughs> It's, it stays on and it fits throughout being wet. So um, that's really all I have today. It's kind of a short video. I'm hoping to work on these this week. I've been doing a lot of work, so I apologize there was no Friday So's video. Penny is exhausted. We've had some thunderstorms. She does not take well to thunder. She does not take well to lightning. She doesn't take well to motorcycles the noises of the motorcycles flying by. So I don't know, Penny had a rough couple of hours and she's just kind of hanging tight, but she has stopped panting and she's relaxing. We had a nap today. We watched Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door and believe it or not, I'll probably rewatch some of that because there was a lot of good conversation in this episode and it is really, really hard to not buy fabric right now. And the only reason why I'm not buying fabric right now is because I have a lot, but there's so many things I see every week on her channel that I want. I don't know how much longer I'll last. I'm gonna tell you all that right now. Have a great week. I hope you do something creative and I hope you do something that makes you feel more like you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.